Yo, what's up? My name is Ryan Mercedes. You can call me Mercedes Jambe. And today, I'm going to start a YouTube channel for you, my One Piece fans. So, the recent chapter of One Piece came out today. Especially the scans, especially the scans. 974. And let me tell you, it was a really good chapter. It was really good. Like, like that's insane. That's madness. And watch out, some little spoilers ahead. Actually, no, some major spoilers ahead. Sorry, my bad. Sorry. Major spoilers. So, I want to talk about two things. The traitor and the finale. First traitor. I just can't believe it. Like, I was putting my best before on Kairos being the traitor. And I was putting myself recently on Rizos part being a traitor. And people were saying that Kanjuro can be a traitor. But I wasn't like, it was too obvious a little bit, but that's why I wasn't like supporting it that much. But <laughs> here we are. Kanjuro is the freaking traitor. Holy shit. Now that's what I call having the obvious reveal already. But when you think about it, it wasn't kind of obvious because like, first of all, the guy hasn't done anything. We barely knew, he, we barely, barely know about his information or, or his backstory or whatever. We don't know one thing. He just called it hairs and just, all of just found him there and recruit him. So we today, we know something right now. His parents die. He saw his parents die in on stage. Which make him his which break him like emotionally. Having no emotions. So he's a Kurosumi. Which kinda of surprised me because I'm just like Come on, and I'm thinking this, like, I thought Kurosumis have, like, purple hair every single time, but since I was wrong, <laughs> so let's see this. Orochi knew him pretty well. He recruited him in order to, to be a spy for the scabbards. Like, he knew a lot of stuff. So, first of all, he gave him a little fruit, which is this Robin Robin fruit. And also, man, I don't know what to say because this is the first reaction, so. But I'll say this. I hate him right now, Kanjuro, but at least you don't quite understand where he's coming from, though. But you know what's funny? The moment that he revealed himself to be a traitor, he called the scabbard out. For not at least thinking about it. Because like. Back when Atri began. Or back before that. Before like the jacket and rice situation. And so. Like bro. You guys didn't know. The fact that there's a traitor in your. In your freaking team. And like, there's, there's a freaking traitor there. Like how the hell did freaking Jack know. That Rizzo was in so. Another thing is the fact that when we came to Wano. We tried the cards, the terrace with, with, with a symbol on it, to symbolize the rebellion in the Fire Festival. It was revealed, and Carol or she knew after all. And I'm just like, okay, at least they were aware at first about it, and then nothing happened. Like, that is so stupid. Like, bro, yo, that is serious. Your information is literally being given. We are yourself knowing. Like you know something is bad. When information. That, is, that has to be super secret. Is revealed to the enemy. So. 
it's kind of interesting the fact that we have a traitor now in this in his name is Kanjuru. And the reactions from the scars are very like justifiable. Like, if somebody betray me, I'll feel pissed off. I'll, I'll I'll feel so hurt because everything that Odin did for the poor of you all was has no, I have no words to explain it, how much you sacrificed your life for that. So sacrifice, sorry, sacrifice, sorry. I talk too fast. But look, at least kill him on the something. We must like try to cut him out, like slash. And then that's it. But surprisingly, because we're in rain, so the paper drawings has to at least melt. But like, he made himself a copy of himself in paper drawings just in case something happens. And every fact that he got the paper, and Kanjuro is there taking that poor Ricky Monosuke hostage. So yeah, like, the traitor is insane. Like, it's so obvious, but same time, it makes sense. Now for the end, now for the, oh my. Now for the, that ending of the chapter, the way it ended is so motherfucking epic. Luffy, Trafalgar did what a law. <laughs> Trafalgar did what a law. And Yusuf's kid, all three, on the submarines. Arrive on time before anything happens because there were already ships on Kaido's like there were, there, were, there were already ships from Kaido's group Going on to kind of like kill them because remember can you tell them like they're coming up so But let me tell you this It feels so good to see those three together again Luffy monkey deal Luffy Trafalgar deal what a lot and use a skit to get it out together again to fight a common enemy. So interesting, huh? Remember the panel back like uh, 12 years ago? All, all those three together the first time ever back in the pre time skip era? Seeing this again made me feel so nostalgic. It made me feel so good. Ah. So Okay, now to proceed now the beginning. Let me do another chapter. Kyoshiro, aka Denjiro, was talking to Momo to to Ijori, aka Kurosaki, about you know, like the plans for twenty for all the twenty years that are gonna be spent like together on a, on a righteous leap. Now we know how how Kyoshiro is just kind of like kill. Komurasaki. Like, she had a pack of blood on her clothes just in case the situation happened. So, when the time comes, Kyoshiro, aka Denjiro, can kind of like just make that event happen. Just make, just kill her. So, that was really smart. A little thing I saw, like, I actually didn't care that much, is between Orochi and, and Kaido. Now we see some some kind of like interaction between them because we really see that. So Orochi is a dick. Kaido's amazing. That's all. It's, it's my opinion though. But when I saw the panel of the trader being there talking to 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 Orochi, he didn't like Kanjiro at all. He didn't like Kanjiro at all. What the hell was that look? I was like, is it a, is it a new guy? Is the new guy gonna be a traitor? Something we never we never met before. That's what up. But it was kind of So that's all I wanna say. Like it was a really good chapter, and I cannot wait. For next chapter nine seventy five. We're finally out of the flashback. So. Now things are gonna start getting serious. So this was my first video. So when the official chapter with official release comes out, like on base on Shonen Jump, I will read it and make an specific review, like 
literally retelling everything that's happening, like retelling you every single event with with the right, you know, with the right information. Because now that I think about it, this is a scan. So the information, like dialogue, is n translated is not that like well. So we really need those officials. So. If you guys want to subscribe below and, and give a like, I like to do it. Please subscribe below and please help me out to grow this channel because I really need to actually start making money on YouTube. I really need to know to learn the skills of how or how to how to balance money money out. Also, I want to entertain people. I want to I really want the word to know my my assistance. I don't, I don't know what to say, but I really want improve. I want, I really want to improve myself as a YouTuber. So I really need you guys help for everything right now. So wait. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Sorry, is that I thought I bought something like that. Sorry, my bad. So please. Leave a comment and please tell me, tell me the tips that I need to be a YouTuber. Tell me what I need. Like, tell me everything that you guys might might know about how to be a YouTuber. Like, like everything. So, please leave a comment, give a like, and subscribe. And we're out.